Hello and welcome to the workshop. Come one, come all. If you love sneakers, trust me, you are in the right place. It's a workshop where we basically show and break out a brand new sneaker almost every single day. Shouts to the good people over at Kicks Are For Us for looking out as they always do. If you follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Former Simpson, then you already saw these, you already got a peek at them. And if you don't, then you didn't, but you're about to see them right now. Well, shortly. Here they are. Bang, bang. The Supreme Nike Air Max Tailwind 4. Quattro. These released recently in retail was 190 bucks, and that's about where the resale value is at. Maybe a little bit higher than that, but right in that range. And it's weird because a lot of Supreme stuff resells for absolutely asinine prices. I mean, I'm talking about astronomical numbers, hoodies for thousands of dollars, it's crazy. But they've done a few sneaker collaborations now that haven't really had or held, I should say, a ton of value. You know, Supreme is tricky that way. Some of it is like gold and other stuff seems not to matter that much. My brother and I, we, we like Supreme, but not to the point of paying these crazy prices, not to the point where it's like Supreme everything. You know, we like some of their stuff and then other stuff not so much. Honestly, I like the accessories more than the sneakers and clothes a lot of the times. We actually have the toolbox, it's right over here and we actually use it for tools. We have the Supreme lock box right here on the coffee table. Some of you may remember the Supreme Crocs fiasco. We even did a little custom Supreme job on the fire extinguisher down here at the workshop. Fire extinguisher is to code, by the way. If the city is watching, it is to code. It's just a little more fly. I'm getting a little off track though. The sneaker, this sneaker, it's kind of obscure, all things considered. You know, the Tailwind, it isn't some super well-known model. It isn't some super sought after model, unless you're my dad, who actually loves the Tailwind. It's his Nike Air Max of choice and has been for a long time. He is the Tailwind guru, but it really is a dope sneaker. And it kind of just flies under the radar. I say all that to say it makes sense that there wouldn't be a ton of hype on these. These released alongside a white and red pair, which normally I think I would like that colorway more, but in hand, this pair just spoke to me more. I love the blue hits, embroidered swoosh on the toe, embroidered trim around the black swoosh, another blue Nike tab on the heel. You got some leather, you got some mesh, you got some knit, I think. I don't know, I'm not a material expert. The gold trim gives it a little hint of luxuriousness. Max Air on the tongue, Supreme below that, Supreme on the heel as well, and I like how it curves a little bit. And then the blacked out midsole, outsole combo is undefeated. I think they did a good job. It's not a sneaker that blows you away. It's not some mandatory sneaker purchase in my opinion, but they are pretty cool, I think. You know what I should do is get a pair for my pops. Have him out here stunting in the preem like a boss. Do a video on that. Let him do a life test on him. Max Air for the win. I really do love Nike Air Max. I say that over and over again. Nike Air Max is tough to beat. There are just so many classics, so many dope sneakers. My only gripe, well, it's not really a gripe, but the only sad fact of life when it comes to older Air Max models is they are not comfortable. Not anymore. They were comfortable then, not comfortable now compared to what's out there. So, you know, it is what it is. Dope in the 90s, dope in the early 2000s, and dope now. Still going, still going strong. And I think that that's pretty cool to see. Some of the other sneakers, like the Ultra Boost, for example, we'll see how it lasts. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But something being cool for a few years is a lot different than something being cool for decades. So you kind of got to respect it when it comes to the Nike Air Max. I know I do. How do you feel about these though? How do you feel about this sneaker in particular, this collaboration in particular? How do you feel about the Nike Air Max line or genre? How do you feel about Supreme and Supreme collaborations in general? However you are feeling at this very moment, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new video, a brand new sneaker. See you then. 
I'm out of here.